good Tuesday evening, everyone. If it is Tuesday where you're at, maybe it's Wednesday already. I'm not sure. Anyway, it is Tuesday the 4th, I believe. And we are rolling into another Facebook Live. And I've got a couple things I want to share with you in regards to questions I've got. And then one, it, one is a question, a specific question. And then another one is actually something that I don't think I've ever shared before because um, I don't know why. <laughs> Never got to it. But, uh, but it came up kind of the other day as I was carving a sign. A couple things came up actually as I, as I was carving that little Shiloh sign. Um, and uh, one of them I'm going to cover tonight. So, without further ado, um, I will get into it. Is there anything I need to know back there? No. On that side of the camera? Okay. I'm just reading the comments. Okay. I didn't know whether you what yeah. you were doing there. Okay. Yeah, it's easier for me to see him here than do that. So you're doing the double phone thing? I'm doing the double phone thing. Like yeah. we do on Saturdays. Yeah. Okay, cool. But except this and this, I don't get to see him at all. <laughs> no, no. Not like on Saturdays. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody says hi. Hi, everybody. Um, so first question is from Jeff. He said, I was wondering what router bit you use when you are leveling a piece of wood, like the router sled. So let me oh, show real you. Real quick, before you before you do that. Yeah. Josh Tolson says, hi, guys. Watching with my daughter, Marin. She's working on some new signs to send in. Terrific. Hi, Marin. Marin's been on the show before. I've actually showed, I think I showed her first sign. You just had a big old hummingbird right behind you just a it second ago. Right behind my head. Um, anyway, so this is the router bit that we use for mm -hmm. flattening. Um, I think we got a good picture. So this is a two inch, half inch shaft. And I think I just picked this up. I, I can't remember. We got it at Home Depot. Or did, Lowe's, either Home Depot or Lowe's. Did we? But we have it in our Amazon store. So it's maybe cool. we picked it up locally and then we found it on yeah, Amazon. Maybe. Put it in our Amazon store. It's about halfway down. So a couple things to remember with this, guys. This is a big mamma jamma. This thing is, uh, it is a wood eater. And it will do even worse to flesh if you let it. So you definitely want to read the instructions. And I always say, you get, well, always, almost always, I run my routers at full speed. Not with this thing. This thing, I think it says right on the package, 18,000. You want to run it around 18,000. So this is where your variable speed will come into play. So definitely figure out where your 18 to 20,000 is on here and, uh, and slow it down. So this is, uh, you know, normally we use, everything we use is quarter inch shanks but uh these big routers this is the 618 this also comes with a half inch call it so that's what you'd want to do is just swap these out and i'll just do it since i'm here so you just swap these out and now that will receive that half inch shaft for those of you that might not know how that works but that's uh so if you have if you know but again i would never use this which you probably wouldn't be able to get a half inch call it for um, for your smaller routers anyway, but uh, you would definitely want to use a full size router for this. Babe, I think you left the door open over there. All of the flies are gonna enter the house. Um, anyway, so that's one thing. Definitely slow it down. And the other thing that we found really early on is don't try and take this full two inch cut at one time. We try and take like just one inch cut at a time and then move it over. At least that worked for us. We're not experts with the, you know, the router sled, but we've made it work. Um, another thing is, um, I don't know, there was about two or three other things that I was going to write down. Uh, just be really, really super careful. Just don't try and rush through it with this thing. Don't try and take more than like maybe a sixteenth of it at a time. That's what I would suggest. Um, if you're going really hard wood, maybe not maybe not even that, maybe a, a 30 second at a time. That's not something you want to rush. So um, that is that. And oh yeah, 
So if you want to see this thing in action, video number 334, that's where we were running this thing. And uh, I think we were flattening a, a piece of mesquite. Um, Frank said it works really good on oak. Does it? Good. Do you have this same one, Frank? I didn't, I didn't realize he did, actually. All right. So let me, uh, the next thing I want to share is something that, uh, that I think will be useful, especially, and, and not to sound sexist or anything, but especially for the ladies. Um, when you've got uh, a router, this is the little bower, and you have this shaft lock, right? And this locks that bit into place. So he said, it, yeah, he's got the same one. Okay. So you have this shaft lock, and that's how you loosen and you tighten your bits. However, it most of these routers, I will say most, not all, but most of these routers also come with a second wrench. Or if it doesn't come with a second wrench, you can certainly get a, an open-ended wrench and uh, use a wrench. Now let me show you... Back in the old days, back when we started carving signs, we used old Black & Decker's uh, 60, 6710 model, I think. Um, and we used those for years and years, for probably a decade. There were no such thing back then on regular routers that had a shaft lock. When the first time I saw a shaft lock, I was probably in my 20s. Um, we always use double wrenches. That's just the way it, it always worked was double wrenches. So if you have issues with gripping, maybe, uh, and, and, and it could be ladies or maybe, you know, even me, I was trying to loosen this bit the other day using the shaft lock and it was, um, it was a little difficult. So if you use a double wrench setup, what happens is you can actually put that wrench on the table and let that table hold that wrench in place and it makes loosening those router bits super easy. It's, it's not like you have to hold this in and then try and get that thing. And in contrast, if you want to tighten that bit, I'm on a glass table here so I'm trying to be careful. Normally you would be doing this on a bench, but by putting that on the bench and tightening that up, there is no way, and now I probably couldn't use that shaft lock, but you just swing it around the other way, and it becomes, literally all you have to do is just kind of hold that router in place and put a little stress on there, and that is such a great way to go. Now, in the old days, another way to do it is actually use a double wrench, and you can use your hands. So you could use your hands this way, in order to, um, and then uh, let's say you, another way to do it, uh, let's see, so you could do it this way. You could have, you can tighten it up that way, or you could switch those. Easy for me to do. And you could loosen it this way. So you can get your, you know, get your chest and your hands involved that way. So there, this is, this really, before the, the invention, I guess, I don't know, if, that maybe, maybe on other tools there's been shaft locks for 80 years, I don't know. All I know is I never really saw a shaft lock on a router. I think, I, I honestly, I think I was in my 20s or maybe 30s before I saw a shaft lock on a router. It was always a double wrench system. And they always said, you know, that this was a convenience way. And, it, and I guess it is because you only have to have one wrench. But if you really want that thing tight, use two wrenches. If you have an issue with that thing kind of getting loose on you, use two wrenches because you have the advent of using the leverage of your table in order to do that. Wow, here comes the wind. Yeah, here Artie comes. Burgers says, what do you do for the bits that won't come out because of sawdust? Okay, I'll be right back. let me show you. All right, so that is tight right now. So, what happens is, it, it's, it is sawdust, Artie, but it's not necessarily just sawdust. It could be, um, it could just be some buildup on the collet. What's happening is that collet 
doesn't want to let loose even though you've loosened the nut. So let's say that we're going to loosen that nut. I hope the camera is down on here. Is it down on the table, babe? Yeah. Okay. So let's oh, say... No, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. Well, yeah, let, me, let me do that again then. All right. So our bit is tight. And what happens is the collet, and I'll, I'll use this, that collet might get kind of... Um, get some stuff on there or it might get some stuff inside that it doesn't want to loosen that bit up. So let me show you. So you've got, now we're going to loosen that bit. There, now we, well, we loosen the nut. We know the nut. But let's say this is going to pull out, but let's say it's still tight. Well, why is that? Why is it still tight? Because this is not wanting to loosen up uh, on the, um, on the inside of the deal. So here's what you do. Literally, Artie, watch close. Let me get the wrench off there. That's it, that's all you do. Now, if you'll notice, I did not bang on anywhere near close to the edge. It was always back on the shaft. But what's happening is that thing is just gripped up and just because you loosen the nut, it just doesn't want, so it's it's almost like, um, it's almost like you've got a jar and you, you're trying to get the jar off and you tap on it to get that jar to bust loose. Same thing. That's that's all there is to it. So Hi, if, you, if you guys have trouble getting those bits out after your nut is loose, just tap on it slightly with a wrench. Literally, that's all there is to it. And it'll pop loose. And then, when you, t and then take your, um, Take your collet out, and so what's happening here, if it was this, this just somehow is not busting loose and causing that router bit to pop loose. But that's all you have to do. And you could, you could, in rare instances, let's say it was stuck, let's say I took the nut all the way off, if I was really careful, I could tap right on the edge of the, on this one, on the edge of the collet. Some of the collets are far enough in there that you can't get to them. But if you just tap on the shaft of the cutter, that's all it's going to take. And it'll pop out every time. And then take out and clean, you know, put some uh, lubrication in there and clean that stuff out once in a while. Then you won't have any issues going forward. Okay, there you go. That help, Artie? Hopefully. Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody? Anybody listening? Okay. All right, let me put this back together. But anyway, that's, that literally, I, I really like the idea. I'm going to probably start. Now, here's, here's the funny thing. I went and, because I was curious about it, because I don't use the double wrench setup very often, but I went and looked at all my routers, all my palm routers, and they all have a double wrench setup except one the DWP 611 there is no there's no place to put a second wrench on the 611 which is incredible to me it, on all of my other routers Bosch Makita Bauer you know all of them uh, but the the DWP 611 does not have a notch for a second wrench on there crazy I don't know why talk to DeWalt I don't know all right that's that uh, sign carvers of the day. Let's move on. If you've got questions, bring them, guys. While I get set up here, I need a drink. Nothing yet? No. You're awful silent tonight. I'm used to that. Oh. Chad said, picking up what you're throwing down, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> and now, uh, hold on. Somebody else said, uh, Paul Hughes says, yes, we are, Dad. And he says, anybody? <laughs> Bert Graham. So this was made for a motorcycle ride. Um, and, oh, he gouged the live edge and wire brushed and torched it. Really a nice looking edge on there. Good job, Bert. That's our Canuck friend from Canada. One of them. We've got a lot of friends in Canada, but... Anyway, you guys, it could be our internet. It's windy, and hopefully everything is working. Is fine. it kind it's of just delayed? Oh, is it? Okay. Anyway, great job, Bert. Let me use my wrench. Oh, I need my 
need my other hacky sack here. Uh, some really good ones here. Roy Smith, check this out. So this is three D. That's awesome. Yeah, three D, and he he cut at a, an eighth of an inch deep and a quarter of an inch deep, and it's on uh, pecan live edge uh, profile and a spiral upcut, and then did the resin inlay. Isn't that cool? That looks so spectacular. I love it. That's awesome. Pecan. Dude, I've cut pecan once, and that was enough for me. Maybe it was just a different variety of pecan. I don't know. Doug Powell. So he he wrote this. Uh, he wrote that he stole my uh, drinking sign. Because this is one I used to sell up in Oatman all the time. If you're drinking to forget, please pay in advance. Yeah, I sold a lot of those up there. Anyway, great job, Doug. Very nice work. Very nice. And Dave Garamonti Sr. So he like made that blue, uh, and that neat. Like yeah, yeah, very nice. Uh, so he made for a customer. And um, the pool signs, guys. I think the pool signs. If you're in a um, in an area where uh, there's a lot of pools and backyard barbecues, that's a great niche. You could have a whole line of just pool signs. I think it's a great niche if you're in an area where people are into that. Uh, in the desert here, Not too uh, down many pools. down in Phoenix, it probably would. Yeah. Down in Phoenix and Scottsdale, everybody's got a pool down there. And last, Captain Chris. So he runs a charter fishing boat in Michigan. He's the, mm -hmm. You talked to him on the phone, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, he does signs. And I think this is, uh, that's resin inlay mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the blue there, which is uh, like a mahi-mahi or something. Um, anyway, the very nice cup. job. Huh? There's a fly on your cup. Where's he at? On your cup. I don't see. Right in front oh. of you. Oh, well, you have the slot flyer. Ew, that's disgusting. That's gross. Ooh, got him. Score. All right. He was slow. <laughs> he was pretty slow. If I can catch him. All right. Remind me to wash that's my hands disgusting. when we get done. Um, all right. That's it, guys. Uh, sign covers of the day. Great job, everybody. And um, I want to uh, just touch on what we talked about last night about the, the interview process. And uh, we kind of checked into a little bit. And I want to run something past you guys. What? Yes, I said, there goes the table. <laughs> yeah, my glass um, table. What do you guys think about, and we've had suggestions on this in the past. What do you guys think about these story ideas, doing them with Zoom? Uh, we've done, we've used Zoom for quite a while. We're not experts at it, but I know there's a way that you can record those and it could be like a one-on-one -on -one where Vicki and I would just ask, a, a, we would just make it nice and simple and we'd probably just have a series of questions to kind of, you know, uh, kind of like an icebreaker questions about maybe about your life or childhood or whatever we might have a series of questions and we do it with zoom and then we can so it'll be video and we can post it right on the channel so it would be a split screen so it would have you yeah. and them on yep. the screen yeah so it would be be us side by side and zoom is free if you zoom costs zoom, nothing it's and it's you know free. what if you go on youtube and just type in how does zoom work and even zoom.com they have videos it's really simple guys and all we would do is we would set up the meeting we'd set it up ahead of time you know schedule them out we'd set it up ahead of time and then we would send the individual person that we're doing it with we would send them an invitation then and set up a time they click on the Very invitation easy to download Tessa oh it's super simple um, super simple so Frank says uh, I'd be interested in having his group zoom as well yeah we yeah, that that could be a, a possibility but we uh, got to get used to it Scott first. Scott says oh I like the sounds sounds really cool that would be fun Darren Smith said that'd be great to get to know everyone better yeah would be fun as well Gary I, Litchfield love it Good. Artie, yes, it's easy. 
So already knows Jason everything. Jason said, Jesus, don't Facebook. Now I got to get Zoom. <laughs> don't have Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing it's is... Free. But the cool thing is, once we do it and we kind of get used to the process... Then, you know, every week we can do, I don't know how often we do them, every week, every other week, whatever, and there'd be, a, you know, a new kind of uh, get to know somebody, you know, and you a lot of you guys have become friends, never had a chance to meet, and you go in and look at each other's Facebook, but wouldn't that be cool just to be able to see a video and kind of talk about <laughs> people's stories? We love free. Yeah, free is good, yeah. It's so if you've, cool. got, if you've got a, com a computer... And a webcam, and, and you can get a webcam super cheap. cheap. Yeah, Vince Holes has got Zoom for my son's schooling. It's simple. It's super simple. Really is very user friendly. I know it's kind of intimidating the first time or two, but um, once you get used to using it, man, it is really neat. We we did uh, one a couple weeks ago with my sister in Alaska and Ryan over Ryan and Amy in California and Rachel and. We got together. It was, mayhem. it was mayhem. It was mayhem. I learned. I learned how to mute their mics. Darren. Darren Smith says I work for a county jail and they use Zoom for video court. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. Um, and then Scott says, and we could interview you, Eric. Well, you guys know everything about me. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty open book. Though. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much you haven't you haven't heard about me. Uh maybe a story or two. But yeah, absolutely. We could. It could be a two-way thing. Anyway, guys, if you guys are open to it, we're investigating uh, it. Yes, I think you can use it on your iPhone. I don't know about Android. I don't have that. Android. I'm not sure. You I, can zoom on. I, I don't okay. know how the split screen works or anything. Yeah, but I know I'm you not can sure. Get it on the yeah, iPhone. yeah. I think you. Yeah, I don't, don't know. Don't you remember you used to do it on your phone before we loaded it on the? Computer? I did it once, well, but it was it, it was really it was kind of I don't know. Anyway. Uh, computer Leonard seems Davis to says, did a Zoom meeting today. Yeah, see, everybody's doing it. So, uh, <laughs> it seems like you what? said you said you're an open book. Tessa said I might know a little more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tessa and Vicky have become BFFs. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, guys, so that's that's kind of the plan. We're looking into it. We've just got to learn to get the kind of the um. The process of recording it and then Actually, being able already, to upload I it. I believe you can have up to a bunch, uh, like fifty or a hundred. You could like have depending. a bunch at a time, which is like crazy. Yeah. But um, yeah, There's I don't. Little tiny pictures. Yeah, little tiny. But um, anyway, guys, that's my idea. That's what we're thinking, and you guys will hear more about it in the coming days. As soon as we get the process down, then. Um, uh, in the meantime, if you guys are interested in doing that individually, send Vicki an email. <laughs> I love that look I just got. Send, send Vicki an email and she will keep track. And then once we get the process down, then we'll start, we'll start doing it. We'll start scheduling it. In the meantime, um, I'm going to do some more interview with Dad because we got a bunch more questions and some really, really good ones. And he even told a couple stories after we got done filming um, the other day. Uh, he There was a bunch more stories. And uh, you guys definitely want to hear these. They're pretty good. So anyway, you guys will see more of that probably this coming Saturday and maybe next week as well. Anyway, uh, that's it. We are, I think we're wrapping it up. Anything I need to address there? Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. We love you. So um, we'll see you here. I don't know, Tessa. I just found out when you did. She said, how did you get appointed, Vicki? <laughs> she's, she's the queen of everything. Didn't you know, Tessa? Hail the queen. Oh, say goodnight, Gracie. <laughs> I'm stepping in deep. You are. Okay. That's it, guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow guys. night. Same time tomorrow. Bye.